Coach, I appreciate you taking time out to do this. I know you got a little seven on seven stuff you're watching. We're good, we're off. Uh, what, were, what were your thoughts as the head coach? Having somebody like Hunter Eccles on the team has it, got to be a huge asset for you. And can you just give your thoughts on that? Uh, I mean, the thing that pops into my mind, the, what I'm most proud of is just how he's matured into a young man. And, and you know, he uh, played his whole senior year at 16 years old. He turned 17 on November 1st. So, meaning he'll be a freshman at 17 his whole year at SC this year, basically the whole season until the bowl time. But I was just so, so, so impressed with how he, he's matured as a young man. And, and you know, coming in as a 13 year old, uh, big as he was. Um, had pretty good freshman year, but uh, varsity I thought was a little bit uh, too fast for him as a sophomore. But man, the, the end of his sophomore year, the life uh, switch came on, and I mean, he worked so extremely hard in the off season before he got any offers, and just blew himself up. And you know, a lot of God given ability, but uh, but I was so proud of him and, and the leader he became for the team. And he was big time for us in the locker room and and on the field. He was literally a, a coach on the field and. And so I'm just so extremely proud of him. I'm looking forward to the next four or five years when we're at SC. You've had, you've had some good football players come through your program since you, you've been there. Um, can you just, just talk about how, how he's compared to some of those guys that you've had since you've been there? Yeah, God's blessed us. But we, we've extremely uh, perimeter players. We've had a lot of really good athletes on the perimeter. Not, uh, he's probably about the uh, first really uh, – uh, interior guy, well not interior guy, but lineman uh, guy that you know was our four star kind of guy, five, five, I don't know what he was, four star, five star, whatever it is. But uh, uh, he's, I think, set the path for a couple other guys. Now we got a couple guys coming up behind him who are going to be, you know, high, national recruits like he was. And he just set the tone, his work ethic, uh, his leadership, and just kind of taking him under the wing and, and uh, you know, really lead him to where, you know, he's going to be, where he's at, where he is at now. He's going to lead these young guys where he's going to be. So I'm really excited about that too. All right. Well, hey coach, really appreciate you doing this. Coach Jefferson, I'm the uh, JV and freshman head coach at Cathedral High School. And, and Hunter Eccles is, is one of the top players in the country in, in the 2017 recruiting class coming into USC. Uh, I know we've met a lot to, to this football team. Yes. Can you just talk to what your thoughts are on Hunter? Well, we, Hunter's grown a lot from when I first met Hunter to now. It's, it's like apples and oranges. oranges uh, Hunter, he's matured a lot over the years. At first, he was a, he was a, he was a younger kid, and then, you know, Kind of, you know, ninth grade, kind of, you know, to itself. But now he's grown up to be a nice, a respectable young man, and he should have a bright future at USC. As far as being kind of a, a leader, oh, yeah. it seems like he, he he was the leader of the of the 2017 yeah. recruiting class for USC. What was his leadership like on, on well, the football team? Well, the first thing was holding his own self accountable. You know, his, his thing was it, Hunter held himself accountable in the weight room and in the classroom, and, and uh, being a leader of the team, if you hold yourself accountable, guys follow behind you. All right. Zaire Calvin, defensive coordinator, Cathedral High School. All right, we'll, we'll, again, we're, we're talking about Hunter Eccles here out at Dorsey High School, a 7-on-7 seven seven event going on here. And, Coach, what are, you, what are your thoughts on, on Hunter and what he meant to this football team? Oh, he, he was the heart and soul of the football team. You know, the way he uh, brought energy every day, his get-off, uh, you know, intensity, size, heart, and knowledge of the game. And he's a baby, so that's the part that people don't really understand. He's only 17, <laughs> And talk about how young is he? He's talked about that on how he's looking forward to, you know, growing, getting bigger, stuff like that. Uh, what would USC fans have to look forward to uh, from him as a football player? Uh, he has a great upside. You know, he hasn't even touched the surface. Uh, you think he worked out now? He hasn't even really worked hard yet. So I'm just gonna give you that little tip. But watch when he works hard, and he's gonna be on a whole other level, and you're gonna appreciate him. Uh, the, the guys in the 2017 recruiting class for USC seem to gravitate towards him, or he kind of gravitated towards them actually and uh, and and the way it was put to me is that he's he's kind of the guy that would reach you at the gate uh can you just talk about him, about that part of, of him yes um he he's a very personable guy and and he loves his his people his family and friends so when you when he interacts with people he pulls the best out of him every time so he he's gonna make you laugh he's the one who's gonna crack a joke he's gonna work easy but then when it's time to work he's gonna work really hard so yes right, and, we're, we're, we're talking about hunter eccles and, and and what he meant to the coaches and and the guys on your team as, as a teammate and maybe as a friend can you just talk a little bit about him well, Hunter was a, he was a very cool player. He was a cool player to look up to. Like, I, very, I admired Hunter when I was playing with him because he was, he did a lot of things right. Like, at the end, I really liked playing with him. And the coaches really thought he was a good player. And on the field and off the field, he was cool to his friends, cool to his teachers, players, everything. And honestly, Hunter was a hardworking player. I'm not going to lie. Everything he did was right. So.
Tanner is the right player for y'all, honestly. All right. All right, guys. So what was it about Hunter that uh, that made him such a great teammate? Uh, he just always, you know, pushed us. He always made us um, take our game to the next level. And, you know, he led by example. We saw how hard he worked and all the scholarship that was coming for him. So that really made us work hard. And, you know, his, his freshman and sophomore year, you know, he didn't really, he wasn't really working hard. He wasn't really a, a leader. And then his junior season came and he just, just sparked in and became a leader. And all those offers came and we just followed by him. Yeah, he was just, uh, like, really, like, one of the team leaders. Like, um, he knew, like, how to balance out either, like, playing around or being serious. Like, he knew how to – he just, like, understood everybody on the team. And that's why everybody, like, respected him. Uh, Hunter uh, led the team. He uh, motivated the D-line, him uh, leading us uh, as a senior and stuff, and made us work harder, him being next to me, pushing me, and uh, leading by example.